Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to discuss about the user details information in the car rental system. Just I want to update the user details like ID, user ID and a driving license, photo, profile ID as well as the phone number. Just I want to add a new one class and a new one table for your user details. Like just I want to add driving license, pro, uh, profile ID, profile proof uh, or you can say the photo uh, proof ID as well as uh, something like that okay so here we have a uh, just uh, i want to create a file storage uh, interface that just i want to create a service for storing images edit images as well as the deleting images so here we have a save file and in which you can just take iphone file that is file also just i want to take a container name where only the image file will be saved okay so here we have a save file and just i want to use the container name where the image file will be saved as well as iphone file and just return the string uh, uh, type path or you can say that available type path that is uh, taskable type string and now the next thing is to void remove file string file route and the string container name the next one is the task string that is edit file that is iphone file and string container ram as well as string file dot values okay just i want to uh, know you uh, just i want to show you uh, that is implementation of your i file storage that is file storage so just use file storage and implement all these methods when uh, just i want to edit the file edit the file i mean to say that first of all directory is exist so just go for the directory by using the path.combine and just go for the and by uh, i web host environment as well as you can use i http context etc to get the path of uh, absolute path by using uh, http context class http context etc okay so here we have uh, lots of option Okay, so here we have um, file storage class i file storage. Okay, so private read only i web host environment environment and actually i web host environment is not actually directly you can use it in your project uh, in your class library project. So uh, lots of project references are deprecated and like that pro, uh, package references are uh, deprecated. So you can use project reference uh, or you can say that framework reference in your into your file so if you want to resolve this types of problem just you can use my earlier uh, video post where i just re release I, I just resolve this types of error message okay so uh, in the last time uh, to resolve this types of problem using iweb host environment uh, you in the class library project so use microsoft.aspnet core.hosting but that package is duplicated right now so uh, you can use microsoft.aspnetcore.hosting.app.reference uh, namespace or you can say that package from the NuGet library but also that package is not working right now so what what should i do for these types of things actually uh, i'm doing a, a framework reference uh, just i want to add in your cs project uh, cs pros file okay so there is a no issue to resolve these types of problems and i think i resolve its, its issue in my earlier video so you can check it my earlier video by using um, searching okay so just so resolve this problem here is now okay so here we have uh, resolved a problem that is i web host environment environment and all these uh, both are two actually added in the constructor and you can say that dependency injection constructor okay so after that okay so here we have a remove file first of all i am going to uh, show you in the detail so first of all check the file route it is not empty so string dot is null or empty the file route if it is file route is already empty then there is a no issue to delete the file so return task dot completed task that is the thing to use it in your project the next one is what that is if it is filed out is not empty so by using the file out you just get the file name okay uh, after getting the file name you have to just directory name 
so here we have that is remove so just use task instead of the void and also you can use taskable type of string in the save file Okay, so here we have a public async task remove file and it just here I'm going to add return task dot complete a task that's fine if it is file is there if it is uh, file is there and I mean to say that file name just I want to get from the file route so you can use path dot get file name and from the file route just I want to get the file name okay so here we have just get the file name after file name is getting just I want to use a path dot combine for uh, uh, that is the container name also used right here so web root path that is environment dot web root path and the container name as well as the file name so directory is found now after found the directory that deleted if file is exist uh, that is the directories exist actually so file dot exist that is file directory then you can just remove the file from from the directory so file dot delete and the file directory that is the path of the file okay so file is deleted completely now just return task dot complete a task that is the fine now the next one is uh, to edit the file edit the file here we have two things that is the first of all delete the file and now save the file so delete the file uh, I just I want to use a file route and uh, just uh, you can use file container name route container name so container name also have a string values so await and you can use remove file first of all and in which you can just take file route as well as the container name that is already exist now just I want to after that we have to return the file that is the type of the taskable type of string and a use await and the save file in the save file we here we have a file and the and the container name is also there so that is make to must taskable type of string okay so there is no issue and after that we will resolve the problem to save the file uh, that is iPhone file is there so get the file extension from the file first of all so get extension path dot get extension from the file so path dot get extension oops okay uh, oops file name equals to GUID dot new GUID extension okay so the next one is the folder and where we have a path dot combine environment dot web root path and the container name okay so and the next one is the directory dot exist the directory so it is not exist so create the new directory by using the folder so directory dot create directory after that route value is matched with the directory so folder and the file name now after that we will use to create a memory stream so where a memory stream equals to new memory stream file dot copy to memory stream okay so similarly like that we, we will use this types of things and to save the file Now after that you you will use uh, to add uh, that is the type of things to add I mean to say that uh, just perform the CRUD operation on the file okay so that that is a very easy I think you know that uh, uh, how to add uh, the, uh, CRUD operation okay on your uh, user details okay.